Hey everyone, with Gary Khan out of the way, this is another year down. I'm going to talk about a couple indie developers that you should definitely check out, so let's start it. The first indie developer was Lou. I have played with a Lou at um, the other Gary Khan last year. Uh, I had played pretty much Derelict Club. It's uh, This is actually the game that I played last year. I finally got a copy and I'm in one of the playtesters section. I don't know where it is, but Derelict Club is basically Goonies. You're in the 80s. You're kids around middle school age and you have to, whatever the job is, figure it out. Uh, for the game that I played, it was pretty much you were going to a theme park for the first game. I played two games with him. The first game, you are going to a theme park and then uh, tragically your uh, dog passes away and you find out through some rumors that one of the rides at the theme park could revive your dog and you have to figure out how to get to that ride, what you need. So you have to get a ride and then you have to figure out how to get the ride going and what you do to... Is there incantation? Is there a spell? What do you need to do? So that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that one. That one was a lot of chaos, pretty much. It was just like running around. We were rolling bad. <laughs> we just kept having issues after issue. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. Made for a lot of fun times. And the second one was, again, theme park. You're running around trying to figure it out. And pretty much what happens is you don't realize it until later on, but there's aliens and you have to stop the aliens and you have to figure out what's happening to all your friends and everybody and now you're questioning who's an alien are you an alien like you don't know and so you're you're basically questioning yourself like is this real are you you're in a dimension a dream world what's going on so i really enjoyed this it's definitely worth a pickup and try i am going to leave a link for uh lou's game in drive through rpg in the description uh, I will say I have to correct something. I misspoke last year on how the rules work, but uh, you do have some pregens in the game. If you um, pretty much are not used to rolling for this game, you could do that. And you have a toy box, and pretty much what you do is you look at your dice. So I have one d10, I have two d8, two uh, I have eight d6. So you look at your scrap, your spry, whatever the DM tells you to roll. And say you have two scraps, so you go over here, you go, well, I'll use one of my D8. You take two D8s, you roll them, and then later on, you mark off one, because that's one time using two D8s. And same thing, my shenanigans in this character is only one, so you have to debate, do you want to use a good dice, or do you want to use a D4? Because you know a D4, you're not going to win anything, but then you only have one, so it's, it's kind of like a balancing act on that, so... Definitely check it out. Um, I know this is about $20 and the maps and everything like that range in different prices. So if you are into this game and you want to check it out, there is a P, a PDFs and those are definitely worth, you know, like five, 10 bucks. So if you don't want to pick up the physical copy, at least give it a try for that is going to be fun shenanigans. You're going to love it. So the second game that I played, um, I don't know the gentleman's name. <laughs> All I know is the the name of the user was Conan, <laughs> Conan the Barbarian, and actually there was a picture of Conan. And pretty much what this is called is Corner Office. The fake company is called Company Co. And you're working in the corporate field. You have a multi-tiered tower you work for. It's like a hundred floors or more. And you pretty much are working your little butts off and the end of the world is, could happen. You could be facing aliens, zombies, whatever you roll for. It's very, very easy to get into this game. And the character creation took only five minutes. That was a plus. Not saying any other game is bad. It was just, this is one of the easier games to like give to somebody who's never played a tabletop RPG before. They can literally just grab a D6, throw it couple times you need 2d6 for your hit points whatever you roll could be bad or good 
you get a luck of the chance and you roll that and then you roll to see what you're going to be. So you could either be IT, middle management, maintenance, you find out what you are. And then from there, you find out what your flaw is, your weakness. It could be strengths, smarts. It could be also you roll for what is your problem in the office or what is your goal? Mine was, uh, I want to find out who keeps stealing my lunch. <laughs> so in the group, you had to find out who's stealing your lunch. And uh, a couple other people were like trying to get their vacation. So they worked very hard to get whatever they need to do. So let's please the boss. Let's find whatever the thing is. So pretty much we uh, rolled and we all wanted uh, to roll for and we got zombie aliens that we came up with. And <laughs> which was funny to see the DM think in their brain and go, okay, we're gonna make this work. And so pretty much uh, the end of the world happens, but we're stuck in our office and we can't leave. So we have to make the best of it and we're trying to work through everything and get all our stuff and we eventually are told by the boss up ahead who's at the 100th floor, 150th floor, well, um, we need to build morale. We need to get everybody happy again. So karaoke. And we're like, sure, why not? And so we have to go down, but which is weird. The farther you go down, there's more chaos, but you don't know at what floor there's the chaos. And so that's where the fun part happens, where you roll your luck, you have to roll some D6s and see how many floors you go down. Each time the elevator stops or you go down stairwells and you get some problems. And I really enjoyed this game. I had a fun time. We basically kept singing the whole time because we were you know, finding people who had different issues and different things and we were just rolling our little hearts out to try to get through and survive all the chaos. We had factions, we had different groups of like this company part of the, like the interns were fighting and battling us and we had like gangs, kind of like Mad Max. <laughs> and it was so much fun to the point where at the end of it, we just sat there and talked about the game. And that tells you how much fun it is because normally when people are not having a good time or they're like, oh, it was a good game, but they're like, okay, next game, my con's still going on, let's roll out. And yeah, it was the last game, but I just wanted to talk about the game and have fun and, and ask questions to the DM and the system and everything like that. And he showed me um, the website, which was eerily creepy. <laughs> it looks like a company website. It legit like looks like you can go over there and you can like, pretty much put yourself in the like I've worked for like offices like this where it was like creepy and weird and so yeah definitely I'm gonna drop another link and that one's gonna be for Conan's game and you can find all the links to that stuff um there is only a pdf right now for this game because he was kind of like play testing kind of like lose game where he was play testing to see um, the kinks, what he need to work on. And so once he's done or he adds any supplements, he's going to throw that over there on that website. And it's only $5, literally $5 for most of the games that he has made. And so I definitely have checked him out and I will recommend to try this game out. And if you have anybody who has never played a tabletop RPG, this game is hilarious. I know plenty of people that I've worked with that would be like, oh, this is, I, I were, I played with so-and-so and this is just reminds me of this person who is like a stickler for the rules who keeps going, oh, you can't use that. You can't print that out. And it's like, yeah, I remember that person. So definitely check that out for sure. And you will have a fun time for anybody. It's not that hard to get the materials. You literally just need the handbook and you're good to go. And just a D6. So the last one I want to talk about was actually I didn't realize was a TSR official module that had been dropped and that was kind of like a top secret where it's called Gangbusters and pretty much uh, the, the DM was Patrick and I guess we played the rule set for the first one, the first edition and it also was an easy game to play. Um, literally you just roll uh, only to battle so you roll like a d20 or a d10 depending on like what they need you to do and whatever you roll then you go and find that out and then you roll damage and so the one cool thing was uh you could uh it's like most of the time it was like five points of damage and you like 
you can find out where because like the system generates like a random number and then it's like okay so one hits this arm two hits this arm three hits your stomach you know stuff like that and so it was really fun to try that and um literally what he did was he took the characters from the godfather <laughs> so like alfredo and stuff like that and so i played al pacino's character and i had a blast we pretty much uh he took the real life scenario from um, I don't remember the gentleman's name who was one of the first to make a nuclear bomb and uh, you pretty much uh, are in New York in the 1940s and you are trying to stop your gang, your rival gang, from trying to take over the family <laughs> and I, I enjoyed this. It was a fun game. I will say that it's uh, kind of like TSR back in the day where it takes a little bit of time to pick up the system. Once you pick up the system you are easily understanding it but also you can just literally plug in the game system mechanics into roll 20 and they'll do it for you so if you have somebody who's brand new to the game you don't need to worry about it they'll figure it out and then you go from there but i enjoyed it and i will definitely try to find another group to play this game a couple times and if i see it at another convention i will try to pick it up because i didn't really th i thought it was like a homebrew game and then when i was like oh sweet it's literally TSR. So I had fun with this and thank you to all the people who I played with at GaryCon. That was a blast for, of a weekend. I had so many times of fun games where I played a, a couple of games of Call of Cthulhu and I played a couple of Dungeons and Dragons games and the whole weekend was a blast. I had no issues, no problems. Thank you to the staff. If anybody who's watching from GaryCon you guys were amazing. You had made this a great weekend. It was easy again, like last time where no issues, no problems. I didn't have to worry about going and finding something and they did the layout different this time and it still was a smooth layout. No problems looking and finding where I needed to go. And also I like that there was like a person looking for another game so you could go there and check it out. Love the Twitch channel. Uh, had a blast. Uh, I will say though, near the end, um, there was a couple times where there was just empty filler, there was nothing going on. And I understand it's kind of hard to like fill the slots and stuff's going on, and chaos and stuff like that. But last day, there was not very much Twitch streaming. So hopefully uh, next year it's just fluid, flows well on that end. But I had fun, watched that whole thing. That was great. I did get to see a couple of people I've never seen before because I like when they would say, oh, the people from Australia are here, the people from Europe, areas like Germany, and, you know, they had other people from uh, UK playing, and they had a couple of people from Canada playing, and so it was a great time. I enjoyed watching different people from around the world, how they play their games, what other homebrew games I've never seen before or official games that were run and we'll see we'll see what happens on that but thank you so much for watching i hope you had a great weekend if you did go to gary con what were some highlights for you because damn there was so many games going on it was just wild i couldn't keep up i just kept saying hell i i don't know where to go next because the whole time i was just like bouncing from place to place to place to place and i had a i a whirlwind of like I'm tired but I enjoyed it so much that it's a good tired because you all know this when you go to conventions you're there and it's chaos the whole weekend you have no idea what to do so definitely stay safe if you are going to any conventions and thank you if you're new hit the sub button helps out the channel keep on gaming whatever you play at any level you play and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games too.